In Jamaica, Finance Minister Dr. Peter Phillips is standing by his statements that the government, once re-elected after the general elections, will provide more than 100,000 jobs. Dr. Phillips says those jobs will come from the business process outsourcing, BPO sector, agriculture and energy. We added 39,400 jobs between the 2013 and now. And I'd say that when you look at the projections of investments that we know, investments at the, in the tourism sector, investments in the BPO sector, investments in agriculture, investments in energy, where we have more than 200 million US dollars of investment taking place now, investments in the ports, investments in manufacturing. We say we believe that more than a hundred thousand jobs, more, more, more than a hundred thousand jobs will be created in the next term. Who can find fault with that? You should jump up and cheer instead of you try to find fault. What? And uh, Dr. Phillips also took opposition spokesman on finance oddly short to task. He dismissed Mr. Shaw's comments that the IMF's move to relax Jamaica's primary surplus target under the economic reform program is questionable. Dr. Phillips says the IMF decision came after several deliberations with the government and other stakeholders. This last week, the representative from the IMF says that they are going to relax one of the targets that will give us the opportunity to spend $4 billion more this year, $8 billion more next year in order to advance the interests of the Jamaican people and to secure growth. Him say it is curious, but it was a thing that many people were asking for. We have been having discussions with them about accomplishing this from as far back as February of this year. Why now? Why now would you want to pick a quarrel with people because they are doing something good on behalf of the Jamaican people? Why now? And Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller rubbished comments by the JLP that the party could use IMF monies to finance their election campaign. And I heard that reckless, careless, that the IMF's relaxation of the primary surplus target would make money available for election spending. Go away with that. Go away with that. Move away with that. We don't need to get the IMF money to spend it to buy no elections. Whatever money we get will be spent on the people. Elections money must be different from government money that is to be spent on behalf of the Jamaican people and in the interest of the Jamaican people.